Over the next few minutes, we will show you what's new in Sage 300 2020 Product Update 2. This release includes changes in two main areas, general improvements and web screen improvements. Let's start by looking at general improvements, available in the Sage 300 Cloud web screens and in the Sage 300 Classic screens. Bank feeds make it fast and easy to reconcile your expenses and credits directly from your company's bank account. Use the Reconcile e-Statements screen, previously called Reconcile OFX Statements screen, to get electronic statements in either OFX format or from bank feeds. One of the advantages of this new feature is that it expands the list of banks and geographies Sage 300 can work with. The general ledger now integrates with tax services. Integrating them allows you to enter tax amounts in GL journal entries. The tax amounts you entered are posted to tax services. These amounts appear in the tax tracking report, GL batch listing report, and GL posting journals report. If your company operates in Canada and needs to file T5018 CPRS forms, you can now print these forms on plain paper. Previously, you could only print to the pre-printed CPRS forms provided by a CRA. If you use Sage 300 to manage multiple companies, you can assign a unique color to each company to make it easier to see which company's information you're viewing and avoid data entry errors. Previously, company colors appeared only in desktop screens. Now, they also appear in web screens at the top of the Sage 300 Cloud homepage and screen. For order details on the OE order entry screen, you now enter information in the comments instructions field in a box instead of a table. This allows you to enter long comments without splitting them into multiple rows in a table. On the OE order entry screen, when entering an order detail for a bill of materials, BOM, you can now specify a BOM number in the kit BOM field. Congratulations! You now know what's new in Sage 300 2020 product update 2.